channel point. We are now into our grand finals, and it's the Ken. We saw Ryu last week. We've seen Terry and Kazuya today, and now we get to see the Ken. This man can do it all. Yeah, you know, you never know what you're going to get with Anality going into a set here. The Ken is the option. The Hadoken allows for some zoning pressure at farther ranges, but also has uh, some pretty fantastic blow-up options. Castle does not at all seem phased by this choice, though. The Mithra is just stacking up damage on the ledge and catching the jump off ledge with the jab just about every time. Yeah, the Swiss Army knife that is uh, the, the, the Mithra and the Pirate up against a decidedly more specialized tool in the form of Ken, who is so far being the one to really put all the pressure on its castle playing plus back and hitting the defensive strikes off stage. Now we'll get back with the Tatsu. Now with the Shoryuken. And that is dangerous. Can kill very, very early indeed with Ken, but can't get back. That is going to be a real problem for Anality's recovery. Just being able to slowly hula hoop down off stage in the path of Anality's only real recovery option as a lingering hitbox is definitely going to be a problem here. We're using the focus, though, to get out of that Mithra combo, out of that juggle, and back onto the stage, but still unable to break the pace of this Ooh. neutral. Yeah, just looking real solid right now, and Anality a little bit scared to come up from the ledge and with good reason I feel but able to get that stop just as I looked away for even half a second and Whoa. we have another all right I don't know what's happening castle through the forward smash out there calling out that anality was going to linger on the ledge for a little bit too long run out of iframes and get caught by that explosion hitbox taking the clean one stock advantage here and has a lot to play with. And this, the Mithra has been doing so well here as well. The castle traditionally plays more of the Pyra, but these fighting game characters are characters you really don't want to let out of disadvantage. And Mithra just keeps combos and strings going for that much longer and that much more damage to prevent them from getting a chance to play the game. Yeah. It's, uh, it's doing them a world of good right now as Anality isn't finding all that many openings. Here's one though. Taruaken at the ledge. Now, bit of pressure, but Castle navigates it beautifully. And oh, no. that is all she wrote. Game one. No tech on the platform. There was a chance, and now he could survive that. Had that tech come out and moved across, uh, rolled across the platform there, but no tech means no victory no chance of survival here castle gonna take that game one and yeah the ken the ken was uh different from what we were expecting for sure uh looked like it was hanging in there okay for a little bit but just couldn't ultimately deal with some of pyra's tools to shut down approaches and shut down the recovery option does he try the ken again does he go kazuya does he go with the tried and tested the terry uh i i mean i think the smart move is terry the hubris move, though, is to now bring out a Ryu or something. But uh, we will see. Looks As like it is, it's going to be the Terry. Okay. Back to winning ways, hopefully, then, for Anality, as they do switch once again to Mr. Beauregard. Yeah, and rocking the, the all-black outfit as well. Oh, he's Stylish. looking mean. Looking very mean, indeed. But it's a great start for Castle once again. You know, having a little bit of extra range from the sword there, able to win out in those jab exchanges. Of course, Terry, one of only about four characters in Smash these days that doesn't have a sword. It is a major <laughs> disadvantage. It's true. It's true. Uh, everybody else, it seems like nowadays, has a, a sword or some kind of weapon, at least, that serves to be a yeah. large disjointed hitbox. A lot of them even have guns, which strikes me as very unfair. Yeah, that that seems uh, that seems like a bit much. Especially coconut guns. I mean, come on. And we're off stage, and very silly things are happening. Yeah, I'm surprised no one actually died off that off stage interaction, and I'm surprised no one ended up winning the neutral there when we're both standing, like jumping in each other's faces and nairing. But 
the respect and the spacing there. Ultimately leading to Anality taking the stock, but you gotta respect both players' committal to just playing the uh, playing the safe route for a moment. Oh, oh no. there we go! Beautiful stuff from the Mithra of that. Yep, that is that Foresight setting up for the forward smash there. You can see Anality wanted that big hit, wanted to really apply that damage and get an offstage situation to boot, but you get a little too... Get a little too uh, ambitious with your combos against this character, and that foresight comes out and shuts down your options real quick, and you may just die for it. Real quick, indeed, at the edge now, Castle doing a world of good, and really wants to play that second set in this grand finals. Nality, of course, wants none of that whatsoever. Shield almost broken, grab off the muck. We have a very even game here, but all the side be the PK Fire limited edition. There have been just so many fairly missed opportunities for Minality here. A grab being off by a few pixels, a combo opener being off by a few Ooh. frames. But Minality still powering through that, and without even finding a large combo to set it up, just a wall of buster there in neutral to break up that stock, but Castle firing right back does not want to see those go moves utilized. Absolutely not, and well, even looking a little bit dangerous at the edge already, but ooh, so is Anality caught by the Blade Storm though. Still trying to get up and onto the stage is Castle grabbed back throw. Yep, and now this ledge though is a difficult spot for Castle to be in. A lot could go wrong here, and Anality can kill very early on the ledge. 91% now, but the castle has navigated back to something close to neutral. Never mind. Power dunk with the shield break. Castle going directly for the ledge, trying to zone off space with the side. Oh, it's just not enough. Nice. Back air from Anality, who has just been clinical at this edge. So much pressure, so little room for maneuver for Castle. Anality putting on a little bit of clinic. Now switch to the Terry. Yeah, and the Terry definitely having a much easier time dealing with this than the Ken was before. You may not have quite the block potential Ken has, but you're getting in more often and getting damage, and that's what's important. This is Castle's chance, though. This is that moment, that momentum swing. Can Castle capitalize and take the game here just off by a little bit? Uh, it's a game of slim margins. Is he going to get punished? Oh, the spike comes out, but it's going to hit the platform now. There, sends Anality reeling and caught at the edge. Oh. Castle 2 0. The dash attack there, closing the stock out, and Anality was in control for a pretty good chunk of that last stock. It was looking really clean but that's just the the nature of these fighting game oriented characters is that the the price you pay for those combo potentials for the damage and the kill potential on the character is your disadvantage is a little bit lacking and castle is just taking full advantage of that finding everything they can off of these combos constantly keeping these juggles going and definitely abusing the offstage interactions and ledge trap interactions Absolutely, and doing a fantastic job. We are going to see the Terry once again. Anality sticking to their guns, but this is looking like a very interesting grand finals for Castle, who is 2 0 up in this, the first set. Oh, wow. Oh, Castle Lord. already coming out, swinging full Mithra combo there, even finishing with the Uppy, but Anality comes back to the stage and retaliates in kind it is back and forth so far here on this stock one but that the wall that that flame sword can put up is giving anality so much trouble in recovering yeah huge hitbox very disjointed coming back though and with go move oh. okay no go moves i lied Castle playing a little risky there, deciding to prominence revolt past the ledge to try to find the kill instead of just going to click through the ledge instead, but it pays off. It does, in fact, result in that stock. And now Castle 
I'm trying to open things up with Mithra here for just a moment. We oh, oh. the CI is perfect from Castle there to get on that power dunk. That time, though, caught in the rapid jabs. That is a big frame commitment when it does not hit. And Nality taking the forward smash to even the stocks up, and it actually ends up being fairly even at the end of the day, all things said and done. Castle's doing a great job of SDIing out of those jab jab power dunk though. Yeah, it really is. And so far. Looking very good in game three. Yeah, Anality is starting to find the the weaknesses, starting to find the gaps in the armor here. Castle's been playing pretty safe through a lot of this with the Pyra, but you can only be so safe. Just don't get hit. Precisely. Don't get hit. Or do. <laughs> That's what happens. You get hit, and the, the stock disappears. And now Anality, formerly, you know, in a, a bit of a tight spot here in this match for a moment, but now is a, a solid stock up, and is utilizing uh, these combo openers to continue to stack up damage. Hasn't found a full combo yet, but 26% and counting. Apparently, what Anality needs to perform is going 2-0 down in a series, because then they come out and playing such clinical smash right now the spacing the, the discipline everything that they're doing right now really really good as castle is once again at the ledge punishment is there and it is severe yeah every opening analogy goes for results in another slam across the stage that one finally one that doesn't connect but oh. pulling out of the providence revolt to set up the forward smash and nality now taking game three and with a convincing two stock lead to, to boot or one stock lead to boot so, that's two one then in the first set and anality doesn't want a second set by the looks of things we could well see them do what they did in winners finals and have the reverse sweep uh, they looked so good that game. I almost want to bet on them all over again. Yeah, that, that was looking very convincing and looked a lot more reminiscent of what we saw in the reverse sweep in the winner's final set between these two players. Probably something that's going to have Castle a little concerned going forward, especially considering that even if Castle manages to pull out another win, they'll still have to take another three to take first place tonight. Yeah, it could well be deja vu, and th that's that's gonna hurt. Um, yeah, I, as I say, I think they're gonna require some serious mental fortitude to stick in this one and not let history repeat itself. We are back again in the Pokemon Stadium as Anality will get both the first hit and the second hit to begin proceedings. Yeah, Castle though already firing back seen a lot more of the Mithra, especially off the start of the match here, but Anality putting up so much pressure, even forcing an air dodge downwards that Castle just wasn't able to recover from. That is a very early stock. You're seeing so much adaptation from Anality in this situation where they're down. You know, they cannot afford to lose another, uh, another game here. You're seeing movement options, you're seeing like jumping and hovering above Mithra to try to set up punishes, things that you weren't seeing in games one and two that are just making all the difference in the world. You gotta wonder, where was the stuff on those first two games? Yeah, it's interesting. that They seem to just perform better when their back is against a wall and they are performing right now with a plumb. And there we go. One stock remains for Castle in this. What, what, what could be set point for them, but yeah, it doesn't look very hopeful right now, does it? No, Anality so far is running away with this. And Castle, I feel like, has been in the Mithra to try to rack up enough damage to take a stock with, but it's two stocks gone, and Anality still isn't at that point. You see Castle just switched into the Pyro for a bit anyways. It doesn't work out switching right back. Ooh. It just doesn't seem to be a right answer. Oh, now combo, that. though. I love kill. that reset for the second spike there. Castle knows they need to get as much damage off every interaction as possible. 
And then Ethan managing to kill off the top with the Nair there before the go moves could be utilized, because that was absolutely a death sentence for Castle up. And now he has been able to get back to neutral with those moves online. He's off stage once again, but Anality is back and could well finish up this game just about any time now. Still, Castle with some fight left in them, but that's a whiff. And it really should have been more, I feel, from Anality. But the game does continue. There is the parry, but the combo to follow it up. The F smash is off the mark, but so it is for Terry. Here is a grab, though, and off stage. Castle, can they get back? They are on the ledge once again. And Anality tries with a bit of prediction, but instead it's going to be the parry. It is the corkscrew as well. And we go to game five in this, the first set of our grand finals. That movement from Anality was so hard to read, too. I mean, throwing out the burning knuckle one direction and immediately double jumping backwards to the same position to open up that jab combo there. That's just that so much misdirection just in the movement alone during that sequence. And it's like that's uh, when you, all you need is to get that initial opening combo starter off. That's how you do it. You misdirect, you pull attention away from what you're actually looking for, and then you jump in where there's the opening and you find that combo. Well, here we are then in game five on Pokemon Stadium once more, potentially for the final time today as Anality is one game away from the tournament victory. Castle fighting to get a second set. Yeah, and Castle... Definitely wants the second set too. Is looking a lot stronger here on this first stock here, as compared to the last two games that we've seen. But Anality has just been playing so strong. Once they've got, like you said, once they got their back to the wall, something a, a switch is flipped. You know, I, I've read the Art of War by uh, Sun Tzu, and he does say never, ever give your opponent no escape. They need to be able to run away and going two zero up. Well, you've forced Anality's hand and they have come to play. And look at the patience, look at the zoning. But Castle is able to break the wall down, if only for a moment. Yeah, the, uh, that, uh, that saying that Sun Tzu's Art of War does say that a, a cornered opponent is the most dangerous. Absolutely. They will get unpredictable and they will get desperate. You can't always, you can't always decipher what they're going to do in that situation. Anality, I would not describe as desperate in the way they're playing in this situation, but certainly unpredictable at times. And that is not something you want to be dealing with here when your bracket life in the first place is on the line. Well, I, I think what they've shown is a, a beautiful range to their play. Uh, and it's not even that it's unpredictable because what they're doing is weird. It's just they're playing all the different styles. They can rush you down. They can zone you out. They're, they're giving it a little bit of everything. And with the go moves on deck, dangerous place to be for castle yeah castle does not want to get any closer than necessary here because those go moves are online and you can see anality really doesn't want to move in without the perfect opening either so both players kind of in a little bit of a stalemate here but we're seeing that patience wear thin don't get hit they've taken it to new levels and anality with the whiff there but then follows up very quickly indeed and castle really wants to put this stock to bed as soon as is possible yeah and you can see just anytime anality is within castle space castle's trying to find some kind of aerial to finish up the stock without committing too much and getting punished on the back end of it anality has had the go moves activated for Probably a full minute now, but there hasn't really been an opportunity to use them. We see the Mithra come out to try to break up the momentum here, trying something a little different, but it doesn't appear to be working out. Now he went down so low to make that happen, that could have cost him the stock, but surviving instead, at least for now. Oh, a little bit off with the jabs, but it's going to follow up all the same, and everything right now is a bonus for Anality. It doesn't feel like they should be allowed to still be on this stock, but they are. Yeah, 65% now accrued without taking so much as an errant hit in return, knowing that should that happen, they are certainly kissing that stock goodbye. And with it, 
likely the tournament for our call out. The anti air from Castle, they are still in this. Yeah, and that is something that some players at home may not necessarily understand. When you see these players poking and prodding at each other like this, not necessarily committing, but not doing anything too proactive, it can be easy to make for it to look like, oh, they're trying to weigh each other out, they're trying to wear down the patience. But that's not always all there is going on. There's a lot of data gathering going on. There's a lot of looking to see, hey, how do you want to interact with this particular circumstance that sets up those stocks? And an Audi there, once again, firing back, taking the jab combo into the rising tackle. Now full stock lead, but Castle is trying to push this disadvantage state as far as possible here, keep Analdi from really getting a chance to play the game. And it's not going to take a lot at this point for Analdi to wrap this one up. Down 0-2 in the set, looking like they're about to take it. 3-2 Castle. Where is your answer to this, Terry? Yeah, there's just Castle in some of these disadvantage sequences trying to move away as quickly as possible. And even with Mithra's speed, not able to escape Analdi here. But we are seeing Analdi maybe no. over aggressive on shield. Hold on. This could just be a Castle stuck on ledge, able to swing their way back on, trying to find something to break this momentum here from Analdi, but it just keeps coming. And one big hit could well be what separates Analdi from another lag spike victory but no castle will find the connection still looking to finish this stock off go moves on deck but the dash attack is their castle just barely gonna oh. get there 132 percent though anality just has to breathe on castle and that's gonna be the tournament but still patience playing it with uh, serene calm amazing stuff i would be so desperate to chase down this character and castle has clearly has the psychological momentum at least here you can see it now starting to get more and more aggressive really moving in but it's still finding the openings while doing so trying to pressure castle out and just overload them with too many things too many threats to think about but castle still we get together for it so long over. but not long enough and there we have it two wins in two weeks analogy is your grand champion of the 75th edition of the lag spike